Um, it's just a quick video, okay? I have a little apology to make. I totally forgot to mention when I done this video about printing with acetate, okay? Um, I've always printed um, previous to having a laser printer with my inkjet, okay? But now I have um, a laser. So I never give it a thought because I don't print on things like this now, you know, on my inkjet so much because um, it means buying another product, okay? I've had, so I'll talk about my laser first, right? So this is the laser. I've had these most probably 20 years, uh, 15 years, I would say, okay? It's overhead projector, I mean, they're really old, okay? I've had that a long, long time, but this these are because it's transparency film, all right, for plain, co plain paper copiers, all right, but it's for a laser, all right. They haven't got any special coating on. Right, now, when you print on an inkjet, I've done it. I used to print on inkjets before, and I used to, I used to print out butterflies and then put the glitter on the back of them and do them on greeting cards. So I know it works, but you have to buy a special... I haven't got any because I don't, like I say, I don't use my ink jet, but you've got to buy a special coated acetate, okay, for ink jet printers. Um, some of them don't say transparencies anymore because not many places use, you know, the overhead projectors and things, and that's what they were originally for. But there's still transparently film out there for ink jet printers. So, you know, that's what you buy. It will not ink will not dry unless you have sometimes you have um like put it on draft or there's the years ago i remember there being a transparency setting on my canon so but i haven't got a clue yet i have still got a canon but i, I haven't checked so it's just an apology okay so if you're printing on with an ink jet you need the speciality papers for it or the speciality acetate for it okay Thanks, everybody, then. Speak to you soon. Bye. Okay, I was looking for some something else in some papers of mine, and I actually found some of the printable acetate for inkjets. Okay, they usually come like this. Okay, and on this side, where the tissue paper is, no, that's right, it's that side. You can feel it's slightly rough. Okay, that's the side that must go in your printer. Okay, and it prints onto that. All right. So I shall go and do a couple now and then come back to you to show you what it's like on that. Okay, now I've had these a long time. Couldn't remember where I got them from, but like I said, I used to get them quite a lot. And, you know, don't throw the tissue paper away. That comes on handy for printing on. Okay, not printing, printing, but like for mixed media work, doing a bit of painting on and that. So I shall go and do a couple now and then come back and show you. Here we go, just printed that one. Okay, your best to when when you print them is to print them like one at a time and leave them dry. Leave them just sit there for a minute. Okay, I was a little bit impatient, so a little bit of the ink come off, but not too much. Okay, so that's what I do. Oh, and um, um, of course, I didn't know which way, which side my printer printed on on that one because I tend to use my laser all the time. But I just um, put a big cross on, so I knew that I had to it printed on this side so i knew then how to put the um you know the side that you print on that's coated in the printer first all right so that's what i've done but i can use these in something else so yeah works perfectly all right like i say i'm sorry about not um i'm saying anything about that you know i've had quite a lot of questions and i'm like, why didn't i tell you <laughs> it's just <laughs> It escaped my mind. Okay, well, thanks very much then, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.